bead, also known as Saint Bede, Venerable Bede and Bede the Venerable, is the father of English history. He is supposed to be born in 672 to 673 AD and died on 26 May 735 AD. He was one of the greatest teachers and writers of the early Middle Ages and is considered by many historians to be the most important scholar of antiquity for the period between 604 and 880. Almost everything that is known of Bede's life is contained in the last chapter of his ecclesiastical history of the English people, which is also called a history of the church in England. It is completed in about 731, and Bede implies that he was then in his 59th year, which would give a birth date in 672 or 673. Bird says nothing of his origins, but his connections with men of noble ancestry suggest that his own family was well-to-do. Born on lands belonging to the twin monastery of Monk Wearmouth and Jero, Bird was sent to Monk Wearmouth at the age of seven and later joined Abbot Selfrith at Jero. While his most famous work Ecclesiastical History of the English People or A History of the Church in England gained him the title The Father of English History. Bede's best known work was completed in 731 which is called Ecclesiastical History of the English People. It has the compilation of five books. The first book begins with some geographical background and then sketches the history of England, beginning with Caesar's invasion in 55 BC, a brief account of Christianity and Roman Britain, including the martyrdom of St. Alban, is followed by the story of Augustine's mission to England in 597, which brought Christianity to the Anglo-Saxons. The second book begins with the death of Gregory the Great in 604 and follows the further progress of Christianity in Kent and the first attempts to evangelize Northern Bria. The third book recounts the growth of Christianity in Northern Bria under King Oswald of Northern Bria. The fourth book begins with the consecration of Theodore as Archbishop of Canterbury and recounts Wilfred's efforts to bring Christianity to the Kingdom of Sussex. The fifth book brings the story up to Bede's day and includes an account of missionary work of Frisia and of the conflict with the British Church over the correct dating of Easter. Bede also wrote a preface for the work, in which he dedicated it to Seolulf, King of Northumbria. The preface mentions that Seol Ulf received an earlier draft of the book. The prof preface makes it clear that Seol Ulf had requested the earlier copy and Bede had asked for Seol Ulf's approval. Bede's stylistic models included some of the same authors from whom he drew the material for the earlier parts of his history. His introduction imitates the work of Orosius and his title is an echo of Eusebius Historia Ecclesiastica. Bede's primary intention in writing the Historia Ecclesiastica was to show the growth of the United Church throughout England. Bede is also concerned to show the unity of the English, despite the disparate kingdoms that still existed when he was writing. It is likely that Bede's work because it was so widely copied, discouraged others from writing histories and may even have led to the disappearance of manuscripts containing older historical work.